Hey, are you planning on buying some outboard gear? Or maybe you already have some outboard gear, but you don't know how to set it up inside Cubase. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to set it up inside Cubase so you can use it as an insert. Hey, welcome back to Inside the Music. I'm Andy Tellus. And before we get into the meat and potatoes on how to route or connect your outboard gear inside Cubase so you can use it as an insert, I would greatly appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and I want to encourage you all to join the conversation down below in the comment area. If you uh, have anything you want to add to it, or you have questions, or whatever you want to do, add that down below in the comment area. All right, let's get to it. Okay, first things first, I'm going to highly suggest that you open up the manual to your interface, especially if you have an interface that has DSP involved, so you can have an understanding on how all the routing is supposed to be going back over into Cubase. So now that you have everything properly connected into Cubase from your interface, it's time to route everything inside Cubase to your outboard gear. So we're going to come up here to Studio, click on that. Audio Connections, click on that. We're going to click on... Uh, external effects. We're going to click on add external effects. Um, and then this window here, you can actually name your piece of gear. In my case, it's going to be a Lin 76. Um, now this is a mono source, so I'm going to change this from stereo to mono simply by doing that. And then I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, uh, it shows up over here toward the left. Now, if you have a stereo compressor and you want to use each side individually so you can get two compressors out of that stereo compressor, all you do is simply come up here to add uh, external effects. You're going to name whatever piece of gear it is you have. Um, in my case, I'll just call this one VLA2. And I'm going to, I always do uh, left, right when I'm using this, type, this, this uh, setup. So L for this one. And I'm going to go mono, mono because it is, I do want to use them as a mono source. So I'm going to add that one. And then I'm going to come over here one more time and do the exact same thing, except for this time, I'm going to call this one VLA2R for right. Just for my workflow, you can name it whatever you like to name it. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now you have your stereo compressor set up as two mono source compressors. But if you want to use it as a stereo source, you can hit add external effects. Name your compressor uh, VLA2. And then I'm just going to say S for stereo. I'm going to come up here to send configuration stereo. And then also the return will be a stereo as well too. And you simply hit OK. And now you have a stereo compressor that you can use on a stereo source. The next step is to hook up your interface uh, to your piece of outboard gear. So in my case, I'm going to use this Lin 76. Um, and you can see it says send and return. If you click on the arrows, those drop down. And we're going to come over here and we're going to connect our interface. Simply click on that. And then I'm going to interface to it again over here to the return. Now, as you can see, it automatically picks an open source, but you can change that source to whatever uh, is available on your interface. So I like to do, and I'm going to give you an example here with this big bluey here. I'm going to open that up. And as you can see, I have a send source. Uh, the out is number eight and the return source is in number eight. That way there it makes things a lot easier for you to remember where they're at. Um, and again, um, you can do that down here just simply by opening up and clicking on that and finding whatever source you have available to use. And lastly, what I want to show you guys is, I'm going to click out of this, and we're going to go over back up to Studio, open up Studio Setup. Now, over here, you, you, you can see it says in, and we also have outs down below. So you simply find whatever in and out you guys use. Say, say you use the in uh, analog number one in my case. Uh, you simply click on that. And then right here where you can see the blue highlighted, you simply go in there and you name it uh, the, your outboard gear uh, source that you're using. Uh, so that way there, it's, it also pops up over this way. It, it, it does help with... If something goes wrong with Cubase or whatever, 
now you have a way to actually go back in here and actually see how everything is actually being routed. So I do suggest you go on here and rename everything over here inside the studio setup. Next, I'm going to uh, come up here to the edit. I'm going to open that up. And just to show you that everything is over here, we're going to come in here to insert. We're going to click on that. And you're going to look for external plugins. You're going to hit that to drop that window down. And you can see everything is here. We got the stereo, the two uh, uh, mono sources, and then the Lens 76, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And as you can see, you have this thing right here shows up. Now this, if I was actually had something hooked up, this would actually uh, go through the entire system and come back milliseconds to show you how fast the routing is going through the entire system. Um, and now you can also use this to increase or decrease your sins and your return signal. So if you want to add more uh, volume to something or less volume to something, uh, you simply just come up here to these. Um, so say like you're clipping on your interface, you can, you can come up here and you can turn down uh, the send. Uh, this is the source uh, signal. So if you have a guitar that's coming uh, that you have on this uh, particular channel um, and this it's hitting the compressor too hard or whatever you can come down here and you can simply s turn down the send. Now this is the return and obviously you know what that does that means that's the return signal going back into Cubase and if, if that's clipping something on the other side of things or you don't need it as loud you simply come down here and um, uh, turn that down. And then also I want you to look over on your on your interface too to make sure there's no clipping going on over there. Uh, and so you can adjust things, uh, make sure everything's sounding nice and clean. And be sure to use the things on the side of your head uh, just to make certain that everything sounds good. Because uh, in some cases I do have some red lights showing up, but it's not a constant uh, you know, clipping. And uh, so I really don't find it to be an issue. Uh, but if it's you know, being distorted and doesn't sound right, then I would highly suggest you come over here uh, and uh, to adjust things over on in your interface first and then come over here and uh, use these as well. And if you have a DSP uh, interface, you might want to go back over that side as well too. And uh, uh, you might be able to uh, uh, use those uh, adjustments over there as well too to help uh, things to get the sound the way you want them to. Well, that's it. Now you're ready to use your outboard gear. Um, so go find uh, a source to send into your uh, piece of gear and to make sure everything's uh, working properly. It should be if you followed all the steps I just showed you. Um, and I would greatly appreciate if you guys found anything useful at all out of this video to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing more content like this to help you all out. And with that said, adios.